Okay guys, here's the deal. A lot of people have the P0661 and P2259 code. I'm gonna explain how this shit works. These are the solenoids on the back of the plenum. 2004 RX-8 or any of those 1.3 liter giant motors. <laughs> so, very, fairly simple. A lot of times the code will come on if you just click the key to the on position twice. You go off and then on and then off and on. It'll be considered, considered two cycles. So you don't even have to start the car in some cases, and a 2259 or a 661 will, will initiate. If it does, if you have a code reader, you can tell that the uh, code is uh, triggered by not starting the engine, then you know you have a wiring problem or a solenoid issue. Because all that happens is, is when you turn key on, a relay in here sends power to this side of the, 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 the relay. And, or solenoid, and it shoots power directly over to the other prong, which then goes to the computer, which is located in here. Okay. Be able to take that off? Yeah, we can take that off. We're, we're teaching people how to fix this at home so they don't have to go into a shop to get this fixed if they're smart enough. So, every one of these schematics I was able to pull off the internet, okay? This is your main one that you're gonna want. This is the PCM wiring harness plugs right here, okay? And the plug that controls the 661 is I believe this plug. Now I know the 2259 is gonna be 10, so that is a determining from this schematic is red with a light blue stripe. So I was able to find that in my plug. All I had to do is with key on power decide if that had 12 volts or not. And when that didn't have 12 volts on, on one of the solenoids, and it really doesn't matter because this works on all the solenoids, you just define the coordinating wire to the ECM, once you determine which wire you have coming out of the PCM that coordinates the solenoid that you have a code to, 225, 661, and then there's another one for the, uh, the actuator down here. You want to make sure your vacuum lines are correctly to the solenoid. That's this diagram. All of these are very easy to find on the internet. This shows you the vacuum lines and how they coordinate and go to that particular solenoid. Mazda RX-8 solenoid schematic or some shit. And this will come up right there in Google Images. Have any cracks or any leaks in your vacuum lines, you definitely want to repair that too. Once you find your coordinating wire, in this case we had we did have to run a wire on this car in order to fix the 2259 code. We had a broken wire. So we had key on power to the right side of the solenoid. Okay? Key on power. The power shoots, if the solenoid is good, if the solenoid works, it'll shoot the power over to the right side. You understand? If it doesn't shoot the power over to the right side, you got a bad solenoid and you got to pop this bitch out and get your new one off eBay for $10. If it shoots power to the other side, it's going to go to the computer. You have to find that pin in the computer through and, and for the 2259, it's 10. I can't remember what it is for the 661 code. Um, basically, it's, it's that simple. If you have 12 volts here coming in, or 11 volts here, and then you need a PCM. But if you have no voltage over here, then you know you have a broken wire. Go ahead and run you a jumper wire, little one like this, or something similar. You go to the wire that you know you're at, so you pull your plug, your pin out like this, right? Pull it out, find you, 1-0, grab you a safety pin, safety pin or, or a, a paper clip. In this case, it was, uh, if you can see this, blue, red with a light blue stripe, red with a light blue stripe. This is for code 2259, red with a light blue stripe. Put the fucking safety pin in there. Okay, guys, you got the red with the light blue stripe still, okay? 
Then, you take your jumper wire. Make sure your jumper wire is not connected to anything. Grab the other end and yoke it on there. Okay. Then you're going to go to your solenoid wire. Okay, which is we have we've already run wire here, so it's going to look fixed, but this is just a, a way to do it. Then you would bare strip the wire that goes to the solenoid. I don't know if you can see the wires down. There you go. So what we've done is, we haven't even taped anything yet, but I don't want to unplug it because I've already fixed it, but if you can see, we've taken a wire that we know is to that solenoid. The, the opposite wire that's in my hand, this red one, is the power wire, so it has key on power. When I opened this wire and exposed it, and I chested it, it had 12 volts to it, right here. However, it did not have 12 volts at the ECM, so I knew that this wire was broken somewhere in the harness. So I simply ran the jumper wire like this, clipped it onto the wire, These cars take patience, that's for sure. Clipped it onto the wire like that. I don't know if you can see it, but you know, just clipped it right onto the bare exposed wire. Came back out, turned the key on, and I had 12 volts at my pin, okay? So then I kept the jumper wire, I bare exposed down here. Put my jumper wire here, plugged in my ECM, did it again, and my fucking code went away. So those are the things you're looking for on the 6612259, and there's one more, I can't remember it, uh, the other, the other, because there's three solenoids. So this jumper wire on, and you and you now put it together, and, and you know that, that you've got continuity. I've had this fucking thing for a long time. You put it on. 200k ohm, you touch tips, you make sure you're good, oh. continuity, right? Yep. Okay, so that's how we know we have fixed this car. <laughs> if you have the 2259 code, you know you have power, key on, you probably got a bad air pump, but usually if that's the case, you'll get a 441 code with your 2259, okay? Now on the 661 code, you run the, the opposite side uh, once you know you have 12 volts coming out of it, then you check your ECM, make sure the 12 volts are at your ECM. If you have 12 volts at your ECM, then you need to check your vacuum and check your with the vacuum gauge. Again, guys, if you want to test these solenoids, all you have to do is put power and ground to them, and they'll click. If you have this, this issue. I'm going to show you the whole uh, the whole kit and caboodle. I already got a titty on there. Pop, pop. Here we go. <laughs> coming, coming over here. This is for the 2259. This is your fucking actuator gay thing here. What is it? The, um, the pop, 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 pop. Yeah, the air pump. So. Just pop that in. Yeah, on this one, we know, I already know it works because, yeah, see it popped? See how it popped? Yeah, I'm sucking it in. Oh, yeah and then I'm getting the pop. That's how I know this works. On the other two actuators, guys, when you when you put this on there, it's gonna be very obvious. It's gonna click, it's gonna be moving a diaphragm. There's an arm that moves. You can see the arm move on one of them so you know. It goes pop, and then you let it go, and it goes pop, all right? <laughs> so it's pretty simple shit. It's, it's not as complicated, and it's not as scary as everybody thinks. Once you figure out that it's only a two-wire system, then you just gotta figure out where does that wire go from that solenoid back to the ECM, how do I delete it? The end.